Of an unfamiliar road With an evening sun hangs gold in the skyline In a quiet unknown town There is solace to be found In the unforeseen hours of the twilight There's a girl and I can see her Far away from this frontier Skies reach out for miles. I want to feel the breeze of the Hebrides on the far side of the world. Cause I want to dance with a Highland girl where the skies reach out for miles. I want to feel the breeze of the Hebrides on the far side of the world. Cause I want to dance with a Highland girl where the skies reach out for miles. I want to feel the breeze of the Hebrides on the far side of the world. Cause I want to dance with a Highland girl. The skies be checked for miles I want to feel the beauties of the heavens And the far side of the water Ask me how I got into this habit, but every night I bring the Biscoff into my room and I just sit here and sometimes I just have a few spoonfuls. Sometimes if I have a chocolate bar, I dip the chocolate bar in the Biscoff and I use it as a vehicle to eat Biscoff and then I also eat the chocolate. Every day humanity is inventing more sins. In here, a little treat. No, but how cool would that be? Okay, here I am, first day on the job, still with my gorgeous Swiss tan. Get ready to watch the transition from Mountain Summer Goddess to Pale Banshee Witch happen before your very eyes. Here's a yummy lentil salad I made. I am very proud of the culinary heights to which I climbed this fall. Sometimes, when I was feeling bored and or melancholy at reception, I would look at pictures of botanical backpackers on Hostel World and think wistfully of its comforting hearth and the old country. Here is a beautiful moth. Here is a memorial plaque to a ferret named Joni. Don't it always seem to go? You don't know what you've got 
hot till it's gone. Here is a silly quiz I roped all my co-workers into taking in an attempt to keep everyone entertained whilst on reception. Here's the flowers I gathered from the meadow because I am a gentle highland peasant. I went to Loch Ness with my friend from work, and it just so happened that the Highland Games were happening that day. The main attraction was these mighty men in kilts hurling telephone poles across the arena. This guy was from America. USA! USA! And every time his turn came, he would break another Highland Games record. I watched him lovingly from afar and thought of what nice warm hugs those strong arms would give. It is also worth noting that the ancient gentleman in the red kilt was almost squashed by a log that went awry and tumbled over as he hastened to get out of the way. Next year, the race will be the 200 meter men's handicap at about 240. 340, sorry. 340. Also at the Highland Games, I encountered the most powerful marketing I've ever experienced. I saw this sign across the field and was immediately filled with an insatiable desire for strawberries. No manipulation, no fuss. They weren't selling me a lifestyle, they were selling me strawberries, and boy howdy did I get me some. Here is the most wholesome puzzle I've ever seen. Here is my first attempt at baking bread, and here is my second. One day, I went into a coffee shop in town, and the girl working was American. We chatted and exchanged contact info, and a few days later we went on a jaunt together. The Jacobite steam train, which was used as the Hogwarts Express in Harry Potter, runs along the stretch of track from Fort William to Malague, and you can pay buku bucks to ride on it, or you can take the same route on the normal train, get off at Glenfinnan, and watch the Hogwarts Express go over the viaduct bridge like it does in the movie. This is what we did, and I must say I did not expect that seeing a train would have such a profound emotional effect on me. Those five-year-old boys are really onto something. <laughs> the Queen passed away while I was there, so I tried to document various moments, including this memorial bouquet at the grocery store. Okay, there were a lot of things that made Scotland really wonderful. But I do have to say that the church that I went to was just so welcoming and I made friends so fast and I had my friends over to the staff flat for a tea party. And it was just so nice because it's always so awkward when you go in on the first Sunday morning and you don't know if people are gonna talk to you or not. And you know that you can talk to people, but you're also kind of like, oh, I don't wanna do all the heavy lifting here. I'm new. And that didn't happen at all. People were talking to me right away. I, there were people that my own age that were there and I just, yeah, I got really connected. I helped lead worship one night with them and it was, it was just so fun. Even though I was only there for a short of, amount of time, I just felt really at home, so yay. filmed Hagrid's hut location. There's the Forbidden Forest. Let's go find some spiders. The man at the visitor center said, no, there's no way to cut across to the youth hostel. You have to go across the river and there's no bridge. Little did he know 
that I am a man who is not afraid to die. It's not true what they say about never forgetting how to learn to ride a bike. I attempted to adjust my AirPod and I instantly careened into this ditch. Fortunately, the moss was very soft. Also, despite losing both of my AirPods in the fall, uh, I A, found both of them and B, both of them still work even though I found one of them in the little stream. I had a swim in the lock, and by a swim, I mean I waded in up to my waist and then sort of took a very brief plunge, immediately turned around and swam in a panic back to the rocks because I was afraid that the Loch Ness Monster was gonna get me. Here are my wounds from falling into the bog. Living the dream. Like, I've been living in the bog for years, like that criminal in Great Expectations. And all I've done is go on what should have been an innocuous bike ride. I understand why running up a hill made Kate Bush want to make a deal with God. Okay, I'm editing right now. My bangs make me look a little bit like Dwight Schrute, but I like to think that it's in a chic way. Um, I just have to explain Loch Ossian because this was an iconic place and I would highly recommend if you're going to Scotland, I absolutely think that you should go. So there is a train stop on the train line that runs from Fort William to Glasgow. Uh, it takes about like an hour to get there from Fort William and it's called Coror or Coror and it was in the movie Train Spotting. It's literally a train station in the middle of nowhere. It's everything I've ever wanted. It's just, you get off and you can't see anything. There's no other buildings for miles around. There's just the train station. And because this is the UK, the train station cafe where you can get delicious treats to eat. And then you get off at the train stop and then you walk down a gravel track for 20 minutes. This place is not accessible by car. And then there's just the lock. And then there's this hostel sitting by the side of the lock. And so I just stayed in this hostel for a night. And I, the bike that I was riding, I borrowed from the manager of the hostel. Didn't tell her that I almost destroyed myself and the bike. But that is all there is for miles around. You're just out in the hills. You have the train station and you have the hostel. The hostel has, it doesn't have heating. It's like a fire that heats it. And it has outdoor composting toilets, outhouses, essentially. The best, amazing, highly recommend. Things to do in Scotland, 2023. Okay, so we had this guest whose lock on her under the bed bin broke with all of her stuff inside, and she had a bit of a menti bee over it, which is understandable. But instead of just having a little cry, she kind of lashed out at those of us who were trying to help her, which I simply do not vibe with. But anyway, when she left, she gave us this heart-shaped rock as a token of contrition and gratitude, and if that's just not another day in the life working at a hostel, IDK what is. I picked some blackberries and made a delicious crumble. Once again, gentle Highland peasant. Friends. Another friend. A friend who accidentally grabbed the wrong box of hair dye and dyed her hair black instead of dark brown and is now fully embracing her inner bog witch. Erica bought me this excellent book for Christmas and after finally reading it, I am appalled that no BBC miniseries has ever been made of it. It's giving wholesome main characters. It's giving farcical adventures. It's giving scathing social critiques. Truly a gem. These jelly babies are holding hands. Went out for a nice walk and encountered this painted rock that A, has killed, and two, will kill again. Oh